the guitar player and uh, I think you know one of the greatest tributes he ever paid me and the band was we had released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band on a Friday we released it, used to release the records on a Friday then we released it on a Friday and two days later on the Sunday he'd learned it and he opened with it <laughs> You know, we were all there in the audience to see him do it. It was fantastic. And he plays this blind in a solo. And he's got his, uh, he's got his, this, this vibrator arm here, it's a Bixby. And he had one of these and he's, he's giving it all, <laughs> giving it all that stuff, you know. And that was great. The trouble was though, in those days, that would put your guitar wildly out of tune. So he's standing there, you know, it's the second number, he's, he's out of tune. So he looks in the audience, he goes, is, it, is Eric out there, man? <laughs> and he's looking for Eric Clapton, you know. Wow.
night we cried Because there wasn't any reason left to keep it all inside Never understood the word But you were always there with a smile
是爷爷爷爷的。I listen, you know, during the night we see all these signs, people hold up, and occasionally we just will uh, hold someone up. We saw one of the signs there says, There's too many to get you all up. But um, the couple we saw a little earlier there, a, I think it's a mother and her daughter, says, Please sign my daughter. That's an intriguing proposition. <laughs> so let's have them on and see what's going on. <laughs> okay. And this is the daughter. What's your name? Laurel. Laurel. What's your name, Mom? Sharon. Sharon. And are you sure about this? You gonna let her get a tattoo? <laughs> well, matching tattoos, no? <laughs> okay, matching tattoos it is. Now, where do you want them? That's the question. Okay, that was fairly really uniform. This is Brian, the keeper of the pen.